process. And the process uh, was a complex one. Um, uh, basically, it was about trying to recreate sound in a visual piece, since the idea of the work was to be a, um, a celebration of the jazz, the old jazz district in D.C., which is at 14th and U, or in the U Street corridor, so to speak. That uh, area had been somewhat replaced by the Reeves Center itself, which is a, a major architectural uh, phenomenon. It's kind of a glass building. It's, it's, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's about 10 years old. It replaced about three jazz uh, uh, joints. And the jazz uh, idea continues there, and jazz sensibility continues because new clubs open. But uh, this building was built as a government center, and, and yet, at the same time, I saw it as a place uh, which had a certain amount of ghosts or echoes of the past in it. It's a big, huge building uh, that um, uh, goes uh, six and a half stories up. It's uh, carved out. It's an empty space. Um, basically, the offices are on the side, so leaving this nave uh, in the center, leaving this... Um, lobby, which is two and a half stories, and the nave, which is six and a half stories, or this atrium. And so when I, the first time I went in it, I sensed a certain presence of the old jazz greats, I guess, um, who I used to use, listen to as a kid uh, all the time. I mean, and when I talked with some of the old timers there, the people who had been there since the 40s, uh, they uh, told me of the uh, folks that had been in there and that had been playing in that area, the Ellingtons and um, certainly um, Lady Day and um, Ella and, and Miles and Coltrane, they all had been there. Uh, they all had um, played there at one club or another and sometimes in the very spot that the Reef Center is built. So I kind of heard these sounds uh, when I looked it over. And I decided to pretty much base um, my piece on these sounds. And so the name of the piece is U Street Sounds. And it, it's an attempt to recover uh, those sounds that uh, still kind of move through the air. So we're going to lift a shape up now from the floor, one of the figures. We're going to lift it up from the floor, tie it to um, the uh, cab, and lift it straight up to, I think, one of those positions over yeah, here. The Probably a big. Yeah, and then he'll. Works to reach back over. We'll fill in the spaces. And then we'll come back. We'll have this middle section that'll be open for the. Yeah. All right. Oh, you got it. Yeah. You coming back to the leg up here? But uh, right now they seem to be working out pretty well. Pleased with the rotation and the activity. Got some air currents running through here, so so the figures are moving pretty well. Now what happens is they hit each other and they'll stay for a while uh, in that position, but then they loosen up and they start floating again. So uh, pretty much the way I thought. I hoped to get uh, some movement out of them, perhaps a little bit more than I see, but I think that when the air conditioning or the heating system is turned on it provides a little airflow in the whole atrium and, and that'll push them along a bit. Well, these are the chorus line figures and originally it was supposed to be in one line going straight down the middle but the engineers in the building thought that it might be a little too much stress on the middle uh, section so that what we decided to do is spread them out along each beam 
and distribute the weight a bit. We have to go a little higher, yeah, about six inches. We can stop at 10. Let's put it at 10, so let's see where it reaches. All right, that's, that's about 10. All right, that's good. Yeah. The tilt's going to remain the way it is, a slight tilt. That's okay, that's going to stay within the frame. I've tested that before, the tilt a little bit, but that's okay.